so that was born of final day by every available means and from everywhere eager enthusiasts swarm into the city Ages are represented, and there's only one place to go. Adelaide Oval, venue for the clash between Port Adelaide and North Adelaide. Gaily dressed supporters add a carnival atmosphere to a gala occasion. They've been waiting for hours and have been rewarded with warm temperatures approaching the 80s. Last year's premiers, led by Jeff Motley, take the field. Followed by North, captained by Don Lindner. Winners of the preliminary final, they meet Port for the sixth time in a grand final, Port winning four of the encounters. There's over 52,000 spectators on hand, as the tense, eager and fit opponents line up. Port already victors in 19 premierships, with teamwork as their strength. Skillful and strong in the ruck. Sir Edric Bastian, Governor of South Australia, presents the Maggery Medal to Torrens' brilliant rover, Lindsay Head, three times winner of football's top award. All awaiting as umpire Ken Cunningham bounces off. Fort winning the toss, kicking to the river end. An early free to Bray, and Fort has an excellent opportunity. Motley gives 19-year-old trainer the chance, but the kick is wide and it's only a behind. Fort functioning smoothly are on the attack. Tall Ruckman Bob Silk takes the mark. Kicking goalward, the Magpies look dangerous as Gill gathers with North in desperate defence. Gill carries on, and North heavyweight Ruckman Pasco fumbles, giving Obbs a great chance. Obbs goes, and Port has North on the wrong leg. Port's speed prevents North from getting into the open, and North are ragged. Port always have a man at the ball, and Luke sets up yet another attack. Once more, North are in trouble, and Obbs scatters, finds a way through the pack, and snuffed a clever goal. North kicking is inaccurate and gives Port numerous chances to gain possession. And a magpie is always there. Cooper gathers, but in desperation, Don Lindner brings him down. Cooper is all right and anxious to carry on. takes a great mark near the square and clears to get North out of trouble. Gill with a fine spoil gives Potter possession and he snaps the goal as Port goes away with a big lead. is precise and full of confidence and their kicking is much better directed. Luke gathers and kicks. But it's only a behind and at the end of the first court 5-8-38 lead north 1-1-7. The surprised crowd wonders at the change in the game. It's a tense, hard battle as Ob scatters. In an amazing second quarter, this behind is Port's only score. North are smartly into stride again, but can they maintain this pace? Port meets them in front of the post, trying to hold them out. Half time. 
time, and it brings relief to the Premiers. After this successful fight back, North must be wary of a letdown following such a hectic period. With five goals, four behind, North are within five points of their rivals after trailing by 31 at the opening quarter. The third quarter, with the wind swinging to the cathedral end, favouring North. Gaining possession through Giesler, North lose it quickly to good marking by Port. This sets off an end-to-end -end attack. With fast precision handling, Port are leaving North in their wake. North are desperate, but the cool, reliable Sutter saves the day. Sutter clears with a drop kick. Nucky loses possession as Fort swarm in with a beaver-like attack. Gray looms up to snap the ball away. With clever maneuvering, he goes, and the Magpies are chirping once more. North are up against it now. Mays hit out and Fort are on the spot to take full advantage. Peter Obbs punts goalward, starting off a fumbling battle with neither side decisive. Finally, Potter gathers, but his wild attempt is well wide. The elusive Carl gathers smartly and kicks to within distance. Trainer carries on, breaking away from the pack to go. North are finding it hard to set up an attacking movement. Giesler is bustled by Cooper and his kick is hurried. John Lindner, who again puts North on the attack as he drives Fay downfield. Up they go. The big hands of Silk pull the mark down. One of the many great efforts in the last half. Silk is cool as he punts downfield, and another exciting aerial battle ensues. Dixon wins it, but the decision is disputed by Port. Dixon kicks into another defensive rally. Doing a lot of effective work, Hobbs once again gathers and clears, easing any threat to Port. The well-matched teams maintain their defensive tactics, and no quarter is given. 